All right, check it out, y'all. What's up? Mac and Reed back with you. I need to, I need to, um, I need you to guess the three guesses or less what Reed is doing, okay? Here we go. Go ahead, do it again. I mean, do the thing. Okay, three or less what he's doing. Wrong. Wrong. Okay, give up. Okay, this is what he's doing. This is the official female profile Christian MySpace post. <laughs> Hat, butt to the camera. <laughs> you can't do it unless your butt is to the camera. Why? Wow. Okay, it's check that. it out. This week's question. Is it like, no, hold on. Is it like a, like a dotted line, <laughs> outline, you know, picture that when you say you're a female on my space, it, it, it brings it right here and you have to fit your image, your picture like, now hold on, a little to the left. All right, shoulders in. All right, just a little bit more. But up. Uh-huh, just to the, just like that. I'm not, I mean, I don't mean that, but I'm, I'm So just, look, so look, look, look. Is anybody else? Look, we gotta keep going now. Mm -mm. This week's question is about Christian online dating services. What are the words? Okay, the question is, do they create more temptation or do they provide a way for you to be true to whoever you find? Right, find, you you, you have more of a selection pool. Right. Um, so, you know, if you if you live somewhere, some obscure place where there's not many people that you feel you can date, right. well, you got Atlanta, you got, you know, Chicago, LA, you yeah, got yeah. New York, right. you know, so, I mean, you can fly out and they can fly in, you know, and you can just kind of go through the selection process, or does it just make you kind of like, uh, can, can make you a virtual hoe? <laughs> Are these Christian online dating services virtual, sanctified, <laughs> brothels, <laughs> or, <laughs> or holy whorehouses? <laughs> I mean, you tell us. Tell us. We don't know. Now, you what, know. What is the word of God about Christian online dating? <laughs> I don't think it says anything. But. Nobody had a laptop. Right. <laughs> Nobody had a laptop. There was no MySpace. There was no uh, bleach pants stuff, right? Mm. There was none of that, mm. or yeah. no bleach friend finders. There was just <laughs> what they call betrothals or espou uh, espousals. And what that was is that, you know, when in the community, they would, the young lady would be born and that young lady's life would be dedicated to a young man. Uh, for example, Mary and Joseph. Mary was a spouse to Joseph from the time she was born to the time they got married. Mm -hmm. So that was gonna be his wife regardless. Right. So that's what the scriptures say. But we don't do that. Right, not the online dating mm -hmm. for Christians. That's okay. not what they do. Right. So maybe some of y'all do this and it's been beneficial. Or, right. Uh, maybe some of y'all have done it. Oh, tell them about a dude. Oh yeah, I had a friend who was you know, doing this. And, right. Um, he uh, called me over and said, hey man, you know, check this <laughs> this picture out. Now, tell him what it's on now. What? The Christian, it was a Christian. Yeah, it was like dating. Christian, black Christian singles. Or right, 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 right. Very, very reputable site, you know. And, uh, but the picture that he showed me was like, wow, <laughs> you know. Just, I mean, I just, it's not something. Why was it wow, really? Well, just, I didn't think I would. <laughs> Yeah, you know, so I didn't think that I would really see um, all that with, you know, Christian on there. I'm probably naive and don't really know a whole lot, so. But yeah, y'all get at us and y'all tell us, you know, what did Paul say about Christian online dating? Or whoever said about Christian online dating, let us know how to know.